The Infinity Knee System is a modular platform for ACL reconstruction that supports a variety of surgical approaches, reaming, and fixation preferences. To begin, debride the unwanted remnant ACL tissue and mark the center of the desired ACL tunnel position. Then, take the Infinity Anteromedial Guide and front load the Infinity 3.5mm spade tip guide pin. Insert through the anteromedial portal while the knee is hyperflexed to allow appropriate access to the ACL's femoral footprint. The anteromedial guide provides a 2 mm offset from the back wall, while the footprint feature provides visualization of the tunnel's edges. With the guide still in place, use the Hull Microfree Mini Driver to advance the guide pin through the far femoral cortex. The spade tip guide pin creates a channel for the Infinity Femoral Adjustable Loop Button to pass, eliminating the additional step of reaming a button channel. Next, remove the guide from the joint and pull the guide pin back against the femoral cortex. The spade tip guide pin's gradient pattern helps quickly identify femoral aperture to cortex length. Then, advance the guide pin through the skin laterally and introduce the sentinel reamer over the pin, keeping the cutting fluid away from the medial condyle. Ream the femoral socket to the desired length and remove the reamer from the joint. Pull the guide pin out to advance the femoral passing loop into the joint. Next, assemble the Infinity Modular Guide System, which features a quick connect mechanism on the guide body and ratcheting edge on the guide sleeve. Place the tip guide's point at the center of the ACL footprint and advance the guide sleeve firmly against the tibia. Then, advance a 2.4 mm tibial guide pin until it meets the tip of the guide arm. Remove the guide from the joint. Then, use a constant diameter reamer to ream the tibial tunnel and prepare for graft passing. Place the graft through the graft loop of the Infinity Femoral Adjustable Loop button. Pull only on the single white tensioning suture with the blue suture tag to reduce the graft loop. Note that a reversible button feature can be used to reposition the graft within the femoral and tibial tunnels by pulling back on the blue reversible button tab and then pulling back on the graft construct. To begin graft fixation, load the tensioning and lead sutures of the button on the passing suture loop and advance until all four suture strands are outside of the lateral femoral cortex. To advance the button, pull the blue and white striped lead sutures while taking up the slack of the white tensioning sutures. Once the button is seated on the femoral cortex, drop the lead sutures and hold only the tensioning suture with the blue suture tag. To advance the graft, apply firm tension on the graft limbs while simultaneously pulling the tensioning suture with the blue suture tag. If graft repositioning is required, pull the blue reversible button tab to lengthen part of the graft loop. Then apply firm tension to the graft to reverse the graft back down the tunnel. Once the graft is positioned, remove the blue and white striped suture, cut the white tensioning sutures, and cut the blue reversible button tab suture. Finally, place the leg in extension and insert a Genesis Matrix interference screw to complete fixation. The remaining suture is cut to complete the ACL reconstruction.